Today's the release day for Erin's debut middle grade book, The Strange and Deadly Portraits of Bryony Gray, which is based on Oscar Wilde's The Portrait of Dorian Gray. Bryony is Dorian Gray's daughter, who, unbeknownst to her, has inherited her father's terrible curse. So when strange things start happening to the people whose portraits she has painted, it sets her off on an adventure across Victorian London. In honor of Erin's big book birthday, today I am going to share a few of my favorite retellings of classic literature. First is The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd, which is based on The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. Like The Strange and Deadly Portraits of Bryony Gray, The Madman's Daughter is about the classic titular character Dr. Moreau's daughter. Juliet Moreau goes to her father's island to find out what he's up to and discovers his gruesome experiments on animals. It is gothic and dark and creepy and full of suspense and mystery and it's definitely kind of gruesome at times, but I really enjoyed it. I've actually never even read The Island of Dr. Moreau, but The Madman's Daughter kind of made me want to, so maybe I eventually will. Next up is Court of Fives by Kate Elliott. In this book, the main character's family is actually based on the family in Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I love Court of Fives as a book that is inspired by a classic novel because it's very different from Little Women. It is a fantasy novel, it is an adventure, it's about a girl who wants to compete in the Fives court and it ends up not going the way she wants and she's kind of forced to compete for her family's enemy. But I love that at its center is this family and you can really find the connections to Little Women and you can see those little bits and pieces that Kate Elliott pulled from it. Another book that I love because you have to kind of look for those hints and pieces of its classic source material that it's based on is Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbaugh, which is actually based on Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is kind of a strange book that I went into with some trepidation. It is based around kind of this Ice Age setting and it's got some fantasy in it and it is a gender flipped Pride and Prejudice. The main character Cole is part of a clan that is kind of threatened with dying out because he only has brothers and there are no girls around their age so they have no one to continue their clan with and there aren't any other clans near them because they live farther north and the ice is encroaching, like I said, ice age. But then another clan does show up and there are a couple of daughters in it. The problem is that their two clans have had some beef in the past and Cole does not make a good impression on the eldest daughter who he thinks is kind of cute but she really does not like him, things are not off to a good start, and it's definitely got that Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth vibe except it is switched around. Like I said I went to this book with some trepidation because I thought it might be kind of weird or boring or something. I don't know what I was expecting but I really ended up loving it. I enjoyed the sequel to Obsidian and Stars. I just think it's very unique. It's such a different setting and such a different choice for retelling a classic Book, so I definitely recommend it. Bonus Mention is a book that doesn't come out until September of this year, so I have not read it yet, but I am really excited for it, and that is A Blade So Black by L. L. McKinney, which is an urban fantasy contemporary retelling of Alice in Wonderland. The main character Alice is your typical teenage girl living in Atlanta, Georgia. She's trying to balance her schoolwork and her family demands and her best friend and fighting monsters in a realm called Wonderland. Anyway, those are my recommendations for books that retell classic literature. I know there are a lot more out there that I have not read yet, so if you have any other recommendations, share them in the comments. And definitely make sure to check out Erin's book, The Strange and Deadly Portraits of Bryony Gray by E. Latimer. It is out today wherever books are sold.